I came to take you home. Give me the location to Jericho. We've got to leave now. The location of Jericho? Yes. Yes, of course. Hey, what's going on everybody? Scott of Gaming here, thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we're back. Back with Connor, and we're back talking to Amanda. Where is Amanda this time? She's always somewhere random in this stupid bloody garden. Is this water? Can I walk out here? I can walk on the ice, surely. It's fine. No more stupid boat rides. Okay, what's she got to say? After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I didn't learn anything at Kamsky's. I thought RA-9 was the key to the whole thing, but... I was wrong. Why did Kemsky leave Cyberlife? What happened? It's an old story, Connor. It doesn't pertain to your investigation. Mm-hmm. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? You didn't tell me everything you know about Deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. Uh -oh. Have you experienced anything unusual recently? Any doubts or conflicts? Do you feel anything for these deviants? Or for Lieutenant Anderson? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't feel anything. You know that. Are you suggesting that I've been compromised? No. No, of course not. Let's keep Amanda on track. This is scary, I think. Right. Oh. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're on to something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now. Not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. <laughs> I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? Hank is invested. There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide. And the android returns to Cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. I don't think it's over. I don't think it's over. Solve this case. We just needed more time. So you're going back to cyber life? Choices. I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? They're not people, Lieutenant. They're defective machines. They're not people. That's what we say every time we want to oppress someone. Back at Stratford Tower when that android was shooting at everything that moved, you protected me. You risked your life to save mine. That showed empathy, Connor. But empathy's a human emotion. I'm not a deviant, Hank. 
I'm a machine. Nothing more. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Maybe these deviants deserve a chance. Maybe it's better if you don't find them. What's happening here is too important to let it be stopped by a machine. Sorry, Connor. But I'm not gonna help you. Wow, wow, wow. Where's the evidence? Where is the evidence room? Over there. Is that where it is? What just happened here? Hank's desk. I don't know where anything is anymore. Ah, oh, there's the archive room. Okay. Do you think Hank left the key on the floor just for me? On the desk just for me knowing what he was doing? Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic prick. The asshole, I'm talking to you. Whoopsie. We're in. Yes. Like minority report, I like Hank's it. Password. Oh, what's his stupid dog's name? Sumo. What a hard boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose. Absurd. He'd never choose that. He might choose that. I need to think like Hank. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Wow. Where is Jericho? The answer's here somewhere. I'm with the deviant who took a child hostage. Shit, I don't know what I needed over there. A 417G, okay. Seven G, there is. That's what we wanted. Why didn't I do this before? You 
lied to me, Connor. I trusted you and you lied to me. I'm sorry about what happened. But I can have you repaired and give you back your freedom. But you have to tell me where Jericho is. You're wasting your time. I don't know anything about Jericho. But I hope that one day you pay for what you did to me. Screw you. Let's turn him off. So who would have known where? Let's just check this last one. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. He'll know where. He'll know where it is. What do we need? Oh god. So we need a three eight three nine eight three. Got it. Give me that. Okay. Come on. tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone. Um, impossible reactivation. What have we got here? Um, impossible reactivation. We need a 6755. Thank you. Oh god, I dread to think what she's gonna say. Tracy. Where's Tracy? Tracy's not far away. I can take you to her. But first, you have to tell me how Don't to Don't look find left. Jericho. Don't look left. I remember you. We could have escaped. Been free. But you killed us. Disconnect me. Why didn't I take her eyeballs out before I did this? this We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Nice. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Nice. This diary. Rupert's diary. But it's useless. It's encrypted. There's so much we can do with that. Okay. Let's go talk to this dude again. Who's there? Who are you? Everything is alright. Don't worry. Marcus? Is that you? 
I tried to reach you, but the Deviant Hunter stopped me. You stopped him from finding me. You saved me. You saved Jericho. You'll be all right now. I came to take you home. Give me the location to Jericho. We've got to leave now. The location of Jericho? Yes. Yes, of course. Marcus? Is that you, Marcus? Don't leave me, Marcus! Wow. I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the Deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. Wow. Holy shit. Oh god. Been shot. What happened here? Looks like someone's been snooping around. Oh shit. Get the alarm. Now! You don't want to get the alarm. You don't want to get the alarm. Wow. Holy crap. There was a lot of stuff that we could have looked at. Okay, we got connected back to the internet, so you'll be pleased to, to hear. Because um, it's always quite interesting to figure out what we did versus what everybody else did. So, uh, we didn't know Jericho's location. Uh, we had sufficient evidence. We... Hank went to his desk. Perkins arrived. Hank wouldn't help us. 22%. Free the prisoner. 30%. Hank leaves. Create a diversion. We, um... Ignore Gavin. 46%. Gavin is suspicious. Uh, in the evidence room... Um, we guessed the password eventually. Um, and then... Everyone did pretty much everything. Um... And then we impersonated Marcus. So 50% of the people did that. And then Gavin returns and we won the fight. He's not going to be happy about that. He's really not. Okay, so this is us trying to cross the border. They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. Holy crap. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing. Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? Okay. This is weird. A car without a steering wheel. It's just odd. Okay. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. 
You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Thanks, Rose. Take care of them. Come on, girls. Better not hang around. We have a bus. So it was this way. Oh, there's the freighter, look. Oh, hello. Oh, look where we are. Old chestnut. I bet he does it better than I did. Place for Alice. The androids weren't doing any harm. They're conducting raids across the city. So it doesn't look like there's anything I can do. Your androids all over the square. And, and then the police arrived and well, they opened fire. I know they're only machines, but they they look like just people. People who want to be free. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces and the Arctic... There's a fire over here, Alice. ...leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Gremlin has made no comment for the... How do you feel? I'm hot. And cold at the same time. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol. There's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk about Oh, God. I'll be back. She's an android. I don't know if that's the... <laughs> well, this is interesting. The time has come for us to destroy our machines before they destroy us. Without the courage and the determination of the police, the machines would have reduced Detroit to a state have ordered all androids to be delivered to the nearest police station or army barracks immediately. If you are worried about your safety... You're lost. You're looking for something. You're looking for yourself. And 
No, they're only machines, but they, they look like just people, with people who want to be free. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment. Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. And I need her. It's as simple as that. Wow. This was what I wasn't allowed to see. You knew from the beginning. You just didn't want to see it. She wanted a mom. And you wanted someone to care for. Holy oh, crap. You needed each other. What difference does it make? Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? A little bit, I think. Alice loves you, Kara. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. But how was she hot and cold all at once? Neither of us are gonna rage. Forever. Surely we might as well stay here, mightn't we? Blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down, and there's nothing we can do. 
Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities, and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. All we did was show them who we really are. I don't want war, but I'd rather die free than live as a slave. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? You keep complaining. What have you done exactly, Josh? At least I fought for us. At least if I die, I die free. This is getting us nowhere. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. I'm not sure they will. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. The violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. Holy shit. I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. Need a bargain and chip. Just hope we never have to use it. And I'd rather I had it than she Whatever had it. happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. Connor is up to. Uh, this episode is creeping on a little bit, but we'll get to the end of the chapter, I think, and then we'll uh, Look after yourself. see where we are. Here it is. Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. Holy crap. been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. What are you 
you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. Don't force me to neutralize you. You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. Stay back or I'll shoot. You never have any doubts. You've never done something irrational, as if there's something inside you, something more than your program. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. It's time to decide. Oh God, I don't know. Nice try. But I'm Connor. Not a deviant. Connor is not a deviant. Get out of here, Luther. Although I don't know if going outside is a better option. Come in, quick. They're coming from all sides. Our people are trapped in the hold. They're going to be slaughtered. There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. Where's Josh? I don't know. We got separated. They're coming from the upper deck now, too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. to the explosives. It's too late, Captain! 
Save yourself! Save Alice! No, we're not gonna leave you behind! Right, Carl? We can't leave him! What are you doing? I won't leave you! Clara, no! Let's go, Luther, come on! Oh god, it's so heavy. She's going to fall in the door as we open it. There was nothing we could do. You have to go. Don't move. Don't shoot. I'm on your side. With us? Are you a human? Obviously. What do I look like? DPD, I work with Lieutenant Hank Anderson. We're on a stakeout. If I knew you were coming, I would have brought some donuts. You're a lucky guy. Another second I'd have shot you. You should go back up on deck and let us do our job. You're right. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Well, that was lucky. I shouldn't keep intervening. Quick, this way! Find north. I'll join you later. Over there. Oh, We're safe, Alice. Are we? Stop. Sure we are. Get 
Oops, I was pressing X. Dead was the right option. Quick, we've got to go. Surely there's loads of people around out here, no? mission is to neutralize you and I always accomplish my mission. And my mission is to save our species. Looks like only one of us can succeed. Crap. I didn't want this. We'll meet again, Marcus. This isn't over. Explode any second. We gotta get out of here. Let's go, let's go. Detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. Sitting over, Marcus. Wow. So next wrong episode. I apologize, everybody, but that was that was well, wow. just wow. We found out a lot, and there is a lot to review. Um, and still more, holy crap. Let's have a little look at what the world says. Zoom out a little bit. Okay, let's scroll all the way back to the very beginning. Um, this is the Marcus. Oh my god, this is insane. The Marcus. Uh, one. So captain's quarters, 95% um, of people um, discuss with North and 81% kissed her. I wasn't quite sure whether to, to do that or not. Um, we met Lucy, we snuck around the soldiers, we intervened, the androids escaped, we climbed away, we entered the well, knock out the soldiers, we intervened again with Josh. Looks like there's a lot of people doing that. Got to the hold. 
we reach the gun and we shot Connor. 13% interestingly did that. Um, 89% in the corridor. North is shot. Choose to save North. Save North. Run to the exit. Marcus jumps. Okay, so there's other people we could have picked up in that. Uh, we can change the flow chart um, because there's quite so many. Uh, so we're driving, we look outside, we arrive at Jericho, we know that all this will happen for everybody. 92% uh, met Marcus. Um, we found out about Alice. 95% of us hugged Alice. 93% um, of us in the corridor escape with Lufa. Lufa opens the door, Lufa is shot. Kara and Alice at the crossroads return, run to Lufa, help Lufa, get Lufa to safety leave Lufa hidden, run towards the exit, keep the door closed, 18%, wow. Um, soldiers shot the android, cabin escape, 92%, Kara flees, uh, try to escape, almost reach the breach, soldiers shoot the crowd, run away, 27%, Kara is shot in the leg, 29%, play dead, 11%, remain still. Interesting, okay. Was there one more? Connor. So Connor in the ship. He didn't really do much until um until the end, really. Threaten Marcus. Remain a machine seventeen percent. So I'm really intrigued to know what would happen here at this at this exact point. If you decided not to be a machine, looks like it takes you on a massive different journey. Uh Marcus shoots Connor. Machine Connor was destroyed. Cyberlife will send a new Connor. Attempt to persuade. So yeah, it's really quite, really quite interesting. Thank you so much for watching. And say I apologise that this has gone on for almost double the amount of time as a normal episode. Um, but I'm guessing we're very, very close to the end. Um, thanks so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, follow us on Twitter at Scott Gaming. We will see you again soon. Thank you.